Microsoft Power Toys expands with a third offering, enabling us to rename files in bulk from the right click context menu. Let's take a look at Power Rename. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. In this tutorial, we tour the functions of Power Rename, the third utility from the Microsoft Power Toys Renaissance. As we've covered installation of the Power Toys suite in an earlier tutorial, linked in the written description accompanying this video, we'll simply remind you of the download link shown on screen now and again reproduced in the description. We therefore begin with Power Toys running, providing access not only to Power Rename, but also to the two utilities featured in the first chapter of this series. Power Rename has a stealthy footprint in the operating system and is only invoked from the right click context menu. In this instance, we have 10 similarly named sample document files, which we select before right clicking, then selecting the new entry for Power Rename, which has been added to the context menu. Clicking that entry takes us to the Power Rename main interface. Our 10 files are shown in the lower pane, with the original names to the left and the right column offering a preview of their renamed equivalents. This field is initially blank, awaiting entry of our criteria in the search and replace fields at the top of the dialog box. We will now review each of the main functions in sequence. We enter the word test in the search field. This identifies every instance of the word test in the file names. Note that this initially causes the word test to entirely disappear from the renamed field because we haven't identified a replacement for it, with the replacement field currently blank. We therefore enter demonstration as the replacement text, and we can see the impact of this in the renamed field. Note that this is a preview only, and the files are not modified until rename is clicked. As we're content with the new names, we do indeed click rename. All 10 files are now renamed as easily as renaming one. Another key benefit of this renaming system is the ability to very simply undo. If we immediately right click, then select undo rename from the menu which appears, or simply deploy the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Z, all 10 files revert to their original name. Returning to the main interface, we enter new search and replace terms. In this instance, pay particular attention to our use of capitalization at the start of each word of the search term. Initially, this poses no issue to the renaming process. However, there's an impact when selecting case sensitive. The criteria is no longer met as the case is no longer a match. Consequently, no files will be replaced. If we then amend the case of our search term, we now have a match even with case sensitivity enabled. We click rename and our 10 files are now capitalized. To demonstrate the next function, we reduce to just three files. The word test is artificially duplicated for document 2 and triplicated for document 3. We again select the files and via the context menu, run power rename. With our search and replacement terms defined, we note that the first instance of test is replaced, but any subsequent appearance within the same file name is left unchanged, until we select match all occurrences, whereby the second and third instances are also replaced. Whilst here, we can also immediately see the impact of selecting exclude files, with our three files immediately removed from any renaming process. Next we create a mixed selection of files and folders, select them and run power rename from the context menu. We again enter the search and replacement terms. As before, where we click to exclude files, the consequence is that only directory folders will be renamed when the process is run. Conversely, we can also exclude folders, which will only rename files. We can also manually exclude, and here we exclude text file 1, which would otherwise meet the replacement criteria. We now select our three files, right click, and select the option to cut before selecting a text folder, right clicking and selecting the option to paste. With that, our files are now contained within the folder. Once again, we select all and re-enter power rename. In the main interface, we can see the files which we have relocated within the folder. At this stage, all items meet the criteria, including the files which we've placed within the folder. Selecting the option to exclude subfolder items means that the items moved to the subfolder will not form part of the renaming process. The enumerate items option is entirely straightforward, appending bracketed numbers where applied. Now we use three document files containing the word doc in the title. The complication here is that they are document files, and as such use the .docx extension. We therefore repeat the word doc in both the file name and its extension. So when we enter power rename and search for doc, unsurprisingly we find it in two locations within the same file. Selecting item name only allows only the file name to be included in the renaming process, 
whilst selecting item extension only is potentially dangerous, as amending the extension could leave the file unreadable. This function should only be used if you're fully aware of the potential consequences. Possibly the most significant renaming power is provided by the use of regular expressions. Although beyond the scope of this tutorial, regular expressions provide highly configurable definitions of search environments, adding a great deal of power to search and replace. The briefest of summaries is provided in the Power Rename descriptive text, as well as links to a cheat sheet and tutorial which we've reposted in our written description. Also included is a link to our favourite site for both learning and practising regular expressions. Whilst there may be other, more comprehensive file renaming utilities out there, and whilst Power Rename won't dislodge our favourite, it provides a straightforward and easily accessible alternative to manually renaming files, and is, in our opinion, the most useful tool thus far of the reborn power toys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.